taken out. I'm gonna be doing the right hand lane up here first and then going from there. Made it to site. So me and another team leader driver right now, they're doing cores, which means they put a piece in the ground that drills down uh, into the concrete here. And it's a two lane each way right now, so there's no flagging going on. But it's gonna become a one lane up there, they'll be doing flagging. On the, the saddle truck or the back truck, he's the front. That's why if something hits me pretty hard, I go into his truck instead of going into a crew. It keeps him a bit safer. But um, what happens basically is the way he has his truck right now is the exact same way my truck set up behind me. It's a very quiet road out here, so nothing really much is happening. But uh, yeah, this is how we set up for a small TMA operation in a place like this. side here in this little tiny parking lot area so that way I'm out of a live lane so I can go pick up my signs. Got a little bit of fisheye going on but this is a wide angle lens I'm testing out. But we have signs like this one lane right ahead. Be prepared to stop. Flagman and rear work ahead just loaded under my truck. The reason why I put my truck like that up there is not in the live lane like this unless I have to be. This next two signs I have to be in the live lane. There's nowhere to pull over safely. So let me get these loaded and we'll be done for the night. Like I stated previously, gotta be in a live lane. There's no one here because it's three o'clock in the morning. But still, that's one of the things you might have to do sometimes if there's nowhere to pull over, you're in a live lane. Let me get the sign loaded so I can get out of here. We're on our way back to the shop finally. It's 4.15 a.m. Roads are kind of dead and quiet. But all in all, it's a good, Nice night, got some good hours in, and uh, simple operation really. Everything went fairly smoothly, and all in all, it was a good night. See you at the shop. <laughs> 